All right, I'm going to try to run through this and hopefully we will not be interrupted by dogs, but there are no promises in my house because I love my dogs and I have dogs. But anyway, welcome. I am Kimberly McGeorge, NGCNH, and this is sponsored by Energy Mastered and Energy Remastered. What is that you say? Those are two absolutely fabulous uh, energy technology, frequency technology apps that can tell us anything, and I do mean anything about you, whether you want us to know it or not. And that includes me too. It tells me lots of times things about me I'd rather not know, but once we know, uh, we can deal with it. Also, I'm a firm believer in he or she who has nothing to hide, hides nothing, and if the truth needs to be revealed, and you know, something goes wrong because the truth is revealed, the truth still needs to be revealed. So this has been one of our most popular truths. People write me all the time. We actually have this on Vimeo. We have it all over the place. Uh, so our YouTube numbers are deceiving. Plus YouTube messes around with your videos and your followers all the time. By special request, Christopher Macklin, real faith energy healer? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Welcome to Junk Consciousness Investigation number four, exposing the consciousness, psychic, new age, and telesummitist industry. We're also gonna expose some of the conspiracy people. Lots of fun. And we'll also do, um, like I said, the paranormal and the Bigfoot people too. Just getting lots of requests, have to work my way through it when I have time. So moving along, moving along, but our, um, moving along, but my slides are jammed. There we go. So here is Mr. Christopher Macklin um, while he's doing an interview for a sketchy radio show. And the first thing I want you to know before we go into the aura of Christopher Macklin, just want to make sure I didn't skip a slide, is I want you to glance really quickly at him. If you're at all into naturopathic medicine or you've studied uh, Eastern medicine and you take one quick look at Christopher Macklin, you should be able to tell one thing. He's an active inflammation. This is a physical healer, an active, high level inflammation. Yow. Let's take a look at his first article. People say, oh, wow, wow, ours change all the time. How can you tell? That's not true, blah, blah, blah. You don't know what you're talking about. If you have not looked at five to 10,000 auras every six months as I do, and that's probably a low figure, I'm guessing, um, then you don't know how to read an aura. This isn't the most in-depth aura program. It's also not the most uh, sketchy aura program. Some of the programs, I don't like there's too much fuzz and too much um quanta distortion at the ones that you go to at the metaphysical fairs but we are going to be at if you're watching this in 2019 and you're watching it before june we're going to be at uh the tampa florida show in june so come see us at booth 109 i will not be there but two of my practitioners valerie and lisa will be there and it will be a fabulous time and you can get a uh, free or very, very reasonable scan, and they'll be sure to demo, and you can sign up for a free trial, all sorts of things. Anyway, let's take a look at Mr. Macklin's aura. So I'm not sure if I put this on a slide. Yeah, I did. So let's go into the first poll. First poll will show you some of the things that if you run a thousand hours on uh, ours on him, will keep coming up because it's the essence of who you are. It will also show temporary things. It will also show intermediary things. It will also show you long-standing things. So it will show you kind of everything. So the first thing we see, and I wish I had, um, and I didn't, I wish I'd drawn or marked this up. And usually I do and I didn't mark this up. Um, but you can see a pull away if you look. You can see kind of an egg circle on the bottom that he's pulling up out of his body, not grounded. We can see he's not integrated. Why? What does integrated mean? Integrated means one color, green, boom, mostly green, blue, boom, orange, blue, yellow, blue, pink, blue, purple, blue. It doesn't matter what color it is. Integration is one color. So we're all like, oh yeah, we're a multifaceted being, yada, yada. Yes. But we're seeking integration. We're seeking to present the wholeness and the fullness of who we are at any time and be able to present those different uh, parts of us integrated or in wholeness, not in chopped up pieces. This is not a high frequency aura, I'm gonna be honest. It's also not the lowest frequency aura. It's probably a low medium in frequency. Eh, 
maybe low. <laughs> Let's just call it low. It's not light filled. You're like, oh, the colors are pretty and pastel. They're like, no, this is not light filled. When you see an electric aura that, and I should have put one up for comparison, I'm getting sloppy on these videos. But um, if you look at some of the others, they're more high frequency, but they're electric colors, crazy, um, kind of like beach colors, like that weird green, yellow, like an electric purple. You can just see the light. It's like a neon sign. It lights up. We also see a dark gray. Could be, we'll find out, spiritual. Could be toxicity, what we call toxicity shadow, or a spiritual shadow over the entire aura in places. This isn't the worst, as I said. He does have a natural healing ability. Um, you know, half his aura, well, maybe a third of his aura is green. Good communicator, good salesman, um, semi-loving. I'm gonna guess that he really is a semi-loving person or a loving person and that if there is any humanity left, the human that's left or the soul that's left does desire or did desire at one time to uh, be loving. He also has this streak of programming. Uh, and I'm not going to explain how I know that, but it's a programming streak of both addiction and control and the yellow orange streak coming down from the top. And he's not connected to the all. If you can look at the layers over there, you can also see him, you can kind of see that egg shape and he's not connected solidly outside his own arc field to all information. Shockers according to Frequency Mastered and Energy Remastered. And I'm not showing you the screens, but I could have, but I didn't. Um, his third chakra is closed, uh, not speaking his truth or the whole truth, possibly even lying on a regular basis. Heart chakra is almost balanced. Again, I told you. And you're going to see consistency in the app because energy doesn't lie. Frequency can be measured. And we've been able to measure it for a long time. I've been using this technology for 18 years. This is nothing new to me. Um, one of my practitioners, Karen, has this saying, she calls it being appified when things are right. I just say, I told you, I told you, is the app ever wrong? So her version is a lot cuter and I have to get used to saying it because um, it's a lot more clever than me freaking out after 18 years. I'm still amazed at how accurate you are. So this isn't me telling you, telling him what's going on. This is him's body and his energy field, his thoughts and his emotions and every single frequency within him, the viruses and the parasites and the bacteria and the memories and the trauma and absolute, the organ systems and the meridian systems, everything, everything that is a part of him is speaking to us and we can read it, it can be read, it can be interpreted uh, through the technology that we have. Um, the brow chakra is closed, hmm, brow chakra is closed. So where is his psychic information coming from now? I do believe, and I'll get into this later too, that he's a naturally gifted and he was born with some natural abilities. So those that are more highly evolved, it's a misnomer and it's a false teaching that all higher information comes through the crown chakra and the brow chakra. Your brow chakra can be closed or be closed by outside forces and you can be a super, one of the most super accurate psychics in the world. So it's how you pull in the energy and all of you can read all energy. So um, that's a whole nother teaching, but it doesn't mean he's not psychic, although I don't think that's his strongest natural ability. So where is this healing? Where is this magical healing coming from? Well, I didn't know anything about him. I was just asked to run him, and I like to run people cold so I don't put too much of my own opinion or observation in. And one of the things that's interesting, I didn't know that he worked with, which we'll get to in a minute, a group of beings. Like I didn't know he was claiming that there was an outside source and crediting that for his healing. Spiritual protection is important. It's important to us in everyday life. There are more illnesses. There are more mental disorders and emotional imbalance and energetic drain due to lack of spiritual protection and all the things that go on with that than anything else. He has lots of entities. This is a panel in our technology. He doesn't protect his aura. Uh, we can also tell that by the weakness of his aura. Uh, he's under psychic attack as human enemies. I say who doesn't actively doing energy work against him. Good for him to know. He's heavily courted. 
uh, the way that we're measuring these cords are unhealthy cords. There's also healthy cords. He's not grounded. Uh, he actually has dark forces closer within his energy field. That is not true of everyone all the time. Sometimes having dark forces close to you can mean you're doing the right thing. It doesn't always mean you're doing the wrong thing. So we'll leave that open for a second. Again, I'm going to ask the question, who is doing the healing? Who is interfering? Is there permanent, provable, permanent, provable healing happening? And you guys do know that dark forces can heal. I hope you know. Emotions. We took a look at his emotions. These are the order that they are not in balance. He's lonely. I say not surprising because I work in this field. I understand the loneliness. I understand that everybody always wants something from you. Uh, not so much even in your groups, but outside. They're like, oh, you're a psychic, you're a healer, you're this, you're that. It's like being a doctor or a lawyer. There's a lot of pressure put on you. So it can be lonely. Paranoia, that's super interesting. I didn't dig deep into this, but my question is, what is he paranoid about what's going on? <laughs> He's living in that state of paranoia. Suppression, I already talked about suppression showing up in the uh, chakra system, in the throat chakra. Sorry, drinking some water. Um, hysteria, interesting word, we'll leave that alone. Inflexibility, fear, never wanna see fear in my field or your field or his field. Insecurity, depression, doesn't he help people with depression? Although it could be a low grade depression and the human condition being here lends to depression if you really understand why we're here and what we're doing here. And he's 50% numb, that's actually not a horrible numb figure, um, but not actively working on himself, he's stuck. My numb figure is generally between 10 and 30%. And believe me, it used to be like in years ago when I hadn't been doing my own work and working on myself, it used to be 90, 80, 70. So most people on first poll fall between 60 and 70 in the numb thing, but it's really not good for a healer to be 50% numb. Various types of programming influence he's under. By the way, this is not all coming from the chakra and the aura. We have thousands and thousands of panels uh, that can be custom tailored to your business or your slant. And I'm exceptionally good at writing panels. And I have a long history in the paranormal and subtle energy, frequency energy. So um, we have a lot of panels that can kind of suss out a lot of things. Resistant to the frequency of truth, never a good thing, but aren't we all to some degree? Not clear seen. But that's parallel to our chakra discovery, right? So he's not clear seeing. He's not seeing clearly. Would you like someone not seeing clearly to be working on you? Toxic with heavy metals. Basically, everyone on the planet tests for that. But it's interesting because everyone tests for that. And because you're a healer, because he actually teaches a lot about this, probably something he should be working on. Not connected to the spiritual plane. See how the app is consistent. Remember I said it showed that his crown chakra was not consistent, uh, I'm sorry, not connected, and that his aura was kind of shrunk down on himself. Um, I love, yeah, energy doesn't lie, you guys. Based on multiple panels, some of which I've looked at, but I'm not going to share. Um, here's the bean, or one of the beans that he says he uh, works with. I'm not going to go deep into what I know about this bean and who this bean is. Suffice it to say, this bean is not of the light, it's one of the very common and uh, hugely uh, you know, put forth deceptions of the new age and the consciousness industry. But that being aside, I think this man is genuinely somewhat gifted within himself. That's important that I'm saying within himself. He's giving away his power working with the reptilian collective. Big controversy, but I'm going to throw it out there. Ang L. And you would have to know what the L are and understand why that's not a great thing. Learn to decay Ode, who are the Angels. That's who he works with. And it's a big yell. He's targeted, which was in another panel. So he must be somewhat genuine, but it's super sad that he's not living in his power and he's deceiving and misleading himself and many others. And he could be helping so many more people if he was working um, for the Alliance and the light forces rather than working for the dark forces. Doesn't matter whether you know it or not, and he, and he may be in a conscious um, type of contract, which I actually believe he is based on what I saw, but um, it doesn't matter whether you consciously know it or not, you're still working for dark forces. So I'm half and half on him. Would I go to him? Never. Never. Would I send anyone to him? Never. 
But I do think he has genuine gifts more on the healing side than the psychic side. I think he's been compromised a long time ago, very young by darkness. He works with darkness to this day. John Edmonds, he brags about working with John Edmonds, um, who's what, a um, spiritual medium and his wife. But John Edmonds had been proven a fraud and worked with dark energies. Many times you can look him up, do your own research on him, but that's not something I would be bragging about if I worked with the light. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't work with him. Um, I think he's lazy. I don't think he works on himself daily. I don't think he desires purification. I think he thinks he's made it. He's kind of, I don't think he's happy with where he's at, but I don't think he's actively in purification to be the servant teacher leader that he could be. I think he does not practice self-nurture or self-care. I, I do think he does care about the people he works with and that's rare. So kudos to him for that. My conclusion, he's reptilian, possibly taken over by the McKeesel deck beans. Uh, McKeesel deck beans would be your research. Reptilian McKeesel deck beans would be your keyword if you would like to know more. So is Macklin jump consciousness? Heck to the yeah. He also brags he works, I already told you about, along John Edmonds, a known fraud. In his own energy's opinion, absolutely. The people pimping him out for money? Shady Tello Summit Circuit. You look at some of the shows he's been on. I've been on some of the shows, so... I can't throw too many big stones, but it's been a long, long day since I allowed someone to take 50% of my earnings and tell me how I'm going to run my business and what I'm going to write and copy and what programs I'm going to run and um, design it so that it benefits them, not the people that I'm serving. Whole Telesummit specifically, not so much the radio shows, but the Telesummit um, business is so shady. And we'll be talking a lot more about that in the coming days, months, and years. So stay away from him or you'll lose more than your money. You could actually lose your health and energy when you open yourself up to nonsense and darkness. And I was nice to him. I didn't run any of the vampiric energy uh, panels to see if he takes your energy. A lot of these healers, um, even though supposedly super high evolved ones, I'm not going to say any names, actually put cords into you and, you know, suck up your energy, um, which is not a good thing. And you wonder why you feel worse after you've had an encounter with them. So um, who says that he's done consciousness? Me, Kimberly, no. Yeah, no, he does, he does. He or she has nothing to hide, hides nothing. If you don't like what's coming up in your frequency and your energy field, change it, do the work. Energy doesn't lie. If you would like to experience uh, this in your own life with your pets, with your family, with your friends and your practice, because we do have a very high level app that uh, you can use in all types of natural health practices. Energy Mastered is available at secrettoeverything.com or on the iTunes store. Energy Remastered, we just lowered to $9.97. Payments are available as low as $97 a month. In iOS, you get a two-week free trial. Write us. Uh, we are going to be putting up panels, and we develop panels for all of the frequency apps. I have over 18 years experience in frequency specifically. Programs for all those who have tech of any kind and programs for all those who don't, and sometimes it's the same thing. Advanced psychic class coming up, pre-screening is required unless you have been actively in my programs in the last two years. Secrettoeverything.com, write us if you have any questions. Call us if you have any questions. We're happy to answer your questions. We're happy to serve you. We'd love uh, to be on your program if you're interested. We'd love to give you a consultation or a scan, and we'd love for you to have this app because we believe in personal power. We don't believe in hiding anything. We don't think there should be anything to hide in this community, but there certainly is. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. Um, I'm Kimberly McGeorge, and you know, on Twitter, on Facebook, find us. Look us up, use our resources. We have some free classes. We have some MP3s, uh, just offer quite a bit of stuff. So see you on the next Unconsciousness video.